Hi everyone, my name is Ruma Mandi and today on International Women's Day and my birthday, I'd like to share my story. Why? Over the years I have been inspired and motivated to take courageous decisions and powerful steps after listening to other people's stories and for me, sharing my story is a tiny step to do my bit to empower those who may need that small message to help make a difference in their lives. I was born and raised in India in a middle class family. My dad was in the army and my mom was a school teacher. And as luck would have it for me, my parents had a very modern outlook and gave both my brother and I equal opportunity to education and exposure to life. After completing my masters, I migrated to Australia at the age of 22. I was married at the age of 24 and five years later, I had my first child. As a woman, it's also paradoxical that whilst we are focusing on our career, our biological clock is ticking to have babies in a timely manner. And all this whilst trying to fit in, in what I was told a woman should be. For me, I found my true purpose when I held my baby in my arms. I knew then that I wanted to give this child the best possible life, the best possible education. And hence, when the opportunity came along for me to buy my own business, whilst the baby was four months old, I embraced it with all my power. At that stage, I made that decision with 90% confidence and 10% knowledge and experience. Looking back, that was a brave move. It was a courageous move, but it was kind of crazy too. For me, failure was not an option. I was spending a lot of time away from my child and I had to be extraordinary. And in order for me to be extraordinary, I had to work on my health, on my skill set and my support network. By throwing myself in the deep end and wanting to excel, I knew that I had to work harder at my skill set, I had to put in more hours and all this whilst I was juggling motherhood. Especially working in a very male-dominated industry, I had to make my mark very quickly and this was only possible by delivering on my results, delivering on my promises to my clients and being focused on goals and always, always keeping the client's needs first. Running a business, helping my clients whilst juggling motherhood and having a second baby whilst doing it all kept me extremely busy. I was having a lot of fun. We had many ups and downs. We made decisions that didn't work out. We took risks, but it was all part of the game, part of learning, part of growth. Although the biggest lesson was yet to come. Four years ago, I decided to partner with another business. Little did I know that I was being defrauded and a year into it, I found myself locked out of my business, locked out of my resources and having my income switched off. This resulted in a 15 month legal battle that saw me fighting for what was mine and keeping my business going, that time truly made me understand who I was, what my strengths were, and who were my real support network. It's only through tough times that you see faces of people and sometimes the loved ones around you, the closest to you, disappoint you the most. I've come to the other side of it with my feet on the ground, my legal troubles are over, my business is back on track, we are thriving. I've got the best team and support network that I could ever dream of. Whilst Ruma, the businesswoman, went through many ups and downs and got to the other side firmly on her feet, Ruma, the woman, the homemaker, the mother, was not living to her truest self. I chose to live a life as per the societal norms, being the best mom at home, the best wife I could be, the best homemaker and doing it all whilst not taking care of me. In the time that I was running my business, running my home, being a mom, being a daughter, being a leader at work and doing it all, my husband and I grew apart. For many years, there was no love and support. But due to societal norms and being a mom and held back by cultural values, I tried to make something fit that was not right for either of us. We went our separate ways for the first time in 2014. And whilst I knew in my heart that we'd made the right decision, there was just something there that kept me guessing myself. And so a year later, we decided to give it another go. And then when you get hit by adversities, you truly get to see people for who they are and what they stand for. And it was only during my toughest, most challenging time that could have totally broken me down that I realized that the people who were truly there for me were my work family, my children and some beautiful friends. 
which only highlighted the weakness of our marriage. And hence, for the final time, my husband and I parted ways last year. When I look back on my journey, I know for a fact that I've survived a lot. I know people face worse adversities. What I did have going for me was my positive outlook, a great support network, the inspiration that comes from being a mom and having children that keep you on your toes, and consciously surrounding myself with only good people that are aligned with my values. What I hope you get out of this is that if it's meant to be, it's up to you. Be prepared to endure some pain. Take some courageous decision. If you're not happy in your current situation, it can only get better if you take a step forward. My next is to be able to give back, to be able to share my story, to be able to inspire others. So if I can be of any help, please feel free to message me if you want to have a quick chat. And I decided on my birthday and International Women's Day to be vulnerable, to share my story and to give something back. Thank you for watching.